Breaking news, folks. The fourth stimulus check isn't just a rumor anymore. It's about to become reality. That's right. Congress has finally approved a bill that could put $2,000 in your pocket. But here's the million-dollar question. Are why you eligible? Stick around, because in the next few minutes, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about this game-changing stimulus package. We're talking eligibility criteria, payment timelines, and even smart ways to use that cash. Whether you're struggling to make ends meet or looking to boost your financial security, this video is a must-watch. So, hit that play button and let's dive into the details of the biggest economic news of the year. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and for the stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSSDI and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. Today, we've got some massive news that could impact millions of Americans. So make sure you stick around until the end to find out if you're eligible for this game-changing stimulus check. All right, let's dive right into it. After months of heated debates, tense negotiations, and political standoffs, Congress has finally approved a new stimulus bill that includes a fourth round of direct payments to eligible Americans. This is huge, folks. We're talking about a potential $2,000 check that could be making its way to your bank account in the near future. Now, I know what you're thinking, is this for real? Well, let me break it down for you and give you all the details you need to know about this groundbreaking development. Let's start with how we got here. As many of you know, the economic impact of the ongoing global situation has been far-reaching and long-lasting. While we've seen some recovery in certain sectors, millions of Americans are still struggling to make ends meet. The first three rounds of stimulus checks provided much-needed relief, but as the months went by, it became clear that more support was necessary. That's when talks of a fourth stimulus check started gaining traction. Initially, the idea faced significant opposition. Critics argued that the economy was recovering and that additional stimulus would lead to inflation. However, supporters of the bill pointed to ongoing unemployment issues, the rising cost of living, and the need to boost consumer spending to fully revitalize the economy. After weeks of back and forth, a bipartisan group of senators came together to draft a compromise bill. This bill went through several iterations, facing numerous hurdles along the way. There were late-night sessions, heated debates on the Senate floor, and intense negotiations behind closed doors. The turning point came when a group of moderate Republicans, concerned about the struggling middle class in their states, decided to break ranks and support the bill. This shift in dynamics provided the necessary votes to push the legislation through. Now that we know how the bill got approved, let's talk about what's actually in it. The cornerstone of this legislation is, of course, the $2,000 direct payment to eligible Americans. But there's more to it than just that. Here are the key components of the bill. $2,000 stimulus checks. This is the headline grabber. Eligible individuals will receive a one-time payment of $2,000. We'll get into the eligibility criteria in a moment. Extended unemployment benefits. The bill includes a 13-week extension of federal unemployment benefits, providing an additional $300 per week on top of state benefits. Small business support. A new round of Paycheck Protection Program, PPP loans will be available for hard-hit small businesses. Rental assistance, $25 billion, has been allocated for rental assistance programs to help those struggling to pay their rent due to the economic downturn. Vaccine distribution funding, $20 billion, will go towards the purchase and distribution of COVID-19 vaccines to ensure widespread availability. Education funding, $82 billion, will be directed to schools and universities to help them reopen safely and address learning loss. Child care support, $10 billion is earmarked for child care providers to help them stay open and support working parents. Broadband access, $7 billion will go towards expanding broadband internet access, particularly in rural and underserved areas. As you can see, this bill is comprehensive and aims to address multiple aspects of the ongoing economic challenges. But I know what you're all really here for, that $2,000 check. 
So let's talk about who's eligible and how you can make sure you get your payment. Individual filers with an adjusted gross income, a GI of up to $75,000 will receive the full $2,000. Married couples filing jointly with an AGI of up to $150,000 will receive $4,000, $2,000 per person. Head of household filers with an AGI of up to $112,500 will receive the full $2,000. How and when will you receive your payment? So, you've determined that you're eligible for the stimulus check. Great, but how and when will you actually get your hands on that money? Here's what you need to know. Direct deposit. If the IRS has your bank information on file from previous tax returns or stimulus payments, you'll likely receive your payment via direct deposit. This is the fastest method with payments expected to start hitting bank accounts within two, three weeks of the bill being signed into law. Paper checks. If the IRS doesn't have your bank information, you'll receive a paper check in the mail. These will start being mailed out about a week after direct deposits begin, but it may take several weeks for all checks to be sent. A. IP cards. Some people may receive their payment on an economic impact payment, EIP debit card. These will be mailed out along with paper checks. Tracking your payment. The IRS is expected to reactivate the Get My Payment tool on their website, allowing you to track the status of your stimulus check. Timeline. Assuming the president signs the bill promptly, the first direct deposit payments could start arriving as early as mid next month. Paper checks and EIP cards will follow, with most payments expected to be distributed within five, seven weeks. It's important to note that these are estimated timelines based on previous stimulus rounds. The actual speed of distribution may vary depending on IRS resources and any potential technical issues. Remember, everyone's financial situation is different, so there's no one-size-fits-all approach. The key is to be thoughtful about how you use this money and to prioritize your most pressing needs. All right, folks. That's the rundown on this massive news about the $2,000 fourth stimulus check. Let's quickly recap the key points. Congress has approved a new stimulus bill that includes $2,000 direct payment. Eligibility is based on income, with full payments for individuals earning up to $75,000 and couples earning up to $150,000. The bill also includes extended unemployment benefits, small business support, and funding for vaccines, education, and more. Payments are expected to start going out within two, three weeks of the bill being signed into law. It's important to use your stimulus check wisely, prioritizing essential needs and financial stability. This is a developing story, and we'll be sure to keep you updated as more details emerge. Remember, the information shared today is based on the bill as it stands now. There's always a possibility of last-minute changes before the president signs it into law. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more updates on economic news and personal finance tips. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any breaking news. What do you think about this fourth stimulus check? Are you eligible? How do you plan to use the money? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and take care of yourselves and each other.